Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Houseman. In my previous video, I talked about how to reactivate the battery in the Neko Cat um, battery, like this one. It's very old drill. It's a black and decker drill battery. After four or five years of uh, this battery, of course, I'm not using it very much. The voltage go down below the threshold, and uh, it's not uh, good anymore. I uh, tax it. The voltage is four volt, very low. It's supposed to be twelve something. So many people uh, leave the comment below in the previous video, ask me to convert this to lithium battery. So today I'm going to show you how to do that with this used it old notebook battery. Please stay and then watch this video to the end. Let's talk about what we need. We need this old notebook battery. This uh, inside is 18650 battery. This one has uh, six of them. Sometimes uh, one of them uh, is to uh, die and then the other, the whole thing is not work working. So uh, not to throw it away, I will uh, disassemble it and take the battery out. And then put a battery inside this case. To do that, um, it is a conversion from lithium. So we need a lithium charging controller to make it focus better. So uh, this is for a six point, uh, sorry, twelve point six volt, twenty amp output. So it's is good for the high loading uh, zero. At the BI, some Chinese wording said about the version 2.0 don't short circuit, this is good for zero. And uh, these two pins are negative positive connected to the here directly. And then this 0 volt, 4.2, 8.4, 2.6 is for uh, balance charging and monitoring. So um, the negative side of this one, let me put it like that. So the whole thing is like this, but I've used half because it's not enough room here. The negative side go to the zero volt, and the first junction of that on the 4.2 volt, and the next connection point to 8.4 volt, and the positive side to 12.6 volt. The battery has four wires connecting to these four positions and this plus and minus is for the output to the drill output here and also when you charge it you charge here and it doesn't have another balanced charging wire to monitoring so only two wire charging and discharging before going on to the port drag because it's a balanced charging concept so make sure every cell is in a similar voltage. Let's see this, this one is 4.23. Next one is 4.2322, very similar. And the last one is 4.2017. This one is a little bit lower. But I guess it doesn't create much problem. I can do that if it had the problem, I can discharge them and then uh, we balance them again. Um, this is fully charged. Uh, actually, I recommend you to uh, drop this, uh, discharge it to 3.7 volt to make this like a 10% or 15% uh, bat uh, battery. Uh, fully charged lithium battery is had a very high energy, especially this very good type. In Japan, this is um, Panasonic. Actually, it doesn't tell, but you when you Google that, you will know this is Panasonic battery. It's very good high power so if you do that like what I'm doing I recommend you to discharge it so uh, have less risk okay let's start doing
is aligned to each other <coughs> and then apply the glue I arrange like this so it's a negative wire we come to that uh, the circuit board so this one will go positive goes to this negative and this um, positive it goes to this negative and a positive probe with the wire here already so uh, this the thing is it will be like this so now I put the glue in so I fix the place just to hold it I find that this battery um, doesn't stick to this glue very much but uh, at least there is uh, some bonding between them so uh, easier to um, manage them because you can see uh, they're not exactly aligned to each other this one has to shift to the left a uh, little bit let me just uh, take it out and I can uh, do some glue on the back as well the fix them when the gel is uh, working uh, create vibrations so uh, make sure um, the safety of the battery Connecting the 8.4 volt position, the junction. So I'm doing the wire for 4.2 volt junction. Finally, it's the zero volt connection. Also, the negative connection. Use a relatively thick wire to make sure the current is uh, good enough for the drill. Okay, four wires, positive. 12.6 volt. This is 8.4, 4.2, and the black one is the zero. So the whole thing can put it in the case. Oh, looks good. I will wipe it with some tape. Make sure the isolation is good. So uh, connecting the 12.6 positive wire on the board. Next one is 8.4 wire. Make sure you put enough the solder on that because it's kind of uh, the connection. The uh, current go through that. So it makes sure it's, uh, you have a lot of it. Next one is uh, 4.2 wire. This is for tackle charging actually, for balance charging. So the most important is the red one and the uh, black one. The last one is zero volts, the uh, negative position of the wire. And the whole thing done is like this, so you can trim it. Now we can connect the positive and the negative the wire 
onto that uh, original ratchet bracket. Okay, basically this is done, all connected. The next step is to take this one. I will use this head to put on top, so I will leave this battery behind with this uh, like supporting the uh, connector right like here and I will disconnect uh, the wire here so connect it to here the wire is not long enough so I extend it with this wire Let's test it. Oh, it's so powerful. That's great. I love it. Let's see. Take the charges. It's an old charger. Obviously, need a new lithium battery charger. Oh, it takes the charge. That's good. Let's take it outdoor now. Oh, it feels brand new. That's I love it. Good. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time. Goodbye.